Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a great day, and we're starting off today in a creative testing world. We're not going to be here for the entire episode, but we are in Snapshot 17W49B. I've been working on my texture pack for like the last couple of days, actually. It took me a lot longer to do this than I thought it was going to, because uh, Mo Yang changed a lot of stuff regarding texture packs, uh, so I had to update a lot of things. But this is the texture pack. It is working in 17W49B, and I have made a couple additional changes and then ported all the, uh, or at least most of the previous changes as well. So I kind of want to go through them, especially since uh, for those of you who didn't really watch season one, uh, you might not know what all is actually in the texture pack uh, as far as changes. So first of all, when it comes to my texture pack, the goal is to have um, a kind of a tweaked vanilla experience. I don't want to fundamentally change Minecraft and, and the way the textures look. Uh, there's a lot of textures that just aren't changed at all. Uh, the ones that don't uh, that I don't have any issue with, uh, the textures that I like just fine, have not been tweaked, have not been modified in any way, shape, or form. Um, but there's a bunch of them that have been changed, uh, or at least slightly modified as well. So let's kind of go through some of them. Uh, in my texture pack, Obsidian is black, therefore the Obsidian on the enchanting table is also black. Uh, Mossy Cobble is made to have the same tones of green as Mossy Stone Brick. Uh, because in vanilla, this is like super vibrant green, and this is kind of this dull green, and I think that looks really dumb. Um, <laughs> granite and diorite have been changed. So this is regular granite, this is regular diorite, and then this is polished granite and polished diorite. That's probably the biggest, most fundamental change in this texture pack. I think just about anything else you would build, for the most part, with this texture pack would look just fine if you were to take the resource pack off, this being maybe the one exception. Uh, and, it, you know, it makes sense because uh, granite is actually, there is like a, a darker, dark gray or black granite. It does exist in the world. So I went with that. So we have like a darker and a lighter variant of cobblestone and stone brick. Um, as far as the wood, the wood has like this very slight darkening on the edges here on all the different types of logs uh so that's a change um i haven't changed any of the planks well actually that's not true i've changed half of the planks so birch is more of like a light like a, almost a whitish color rather than very yellow like it is in vanilla speaking of which that reminds me this is the color it is in vanilla i need to update this i forgot to do that with this trap door um Dark oak is a little bit darker and more gray rather than like a, it, in vanilla, it's kind of almost, a, it has almost like a reddish tint to it. So I've changed that. Um, jungle wood is unchanged. Acacia is more of like a golden color than a like blaze orange. Uh, and then as far as doors, the doors are all, they all match their planks. Uh, the only additional change here on the dark oak is that I got rid of the gold handle and turned the gold stuff into gray, just so it doesn't stand out as much. Iron doors look like this, and iron trap doors look like this, so they're like bars. This is actually the texture for the acacia door. If we grab one of those, uh, you'll notice with a lot of these textures, um, they're actually modified vanilla textures, like... Like, I, I really didn't do, uh, I, I'm not really coming up with, like, super original textures here. I'm taking vanilla textures and kind of moving them around or maybe changing the color, uh, like, the, the color gradients or, or whatever. So, like, the iron door is basically the acacia door. It's just gray instead of orange. Um, this is red sandstone. This is red sand. Cactus is not so green. It's much more of, like, a dull olive green. Um, we also, I did make a change here. This is a new change that wasn't in previous versions of the texture pack. Sticky pistons now have a little bit of slime on the side, so you can tell from the side. Um, all of the texture pack changes here, everything that I've changed, I have changed myself. I haven't used anybody else's textures, but not all of the ideas are mine. Like, I know that, uh, Exumavoid, um, has this sort of thing in his vanilla resources, uh, his vanilla tweaks resource pack so or, or it's something like that i forget what the exact name of it is but like this isn't my idea 
but I did the texture work myself. Uh, this is note blocks. They look like crates. Um, hay bales are much more dull, and I've gotten rid of that annoying orange band. Uh, and interestingly, it's basically oak. If you look at the these two lines right here, this is basically just copied out of the oak plank texture, and I think it looks a lot better, much more usable. Uh, end rods have no purple. They just have this gray instead, uh, which is better. Purper is much less purple and much more gray. A lot of the changes here are just kind of taking down the saturation to make stuff blend better. Um, glowstone, this is uh, one of the larger changes as well. It's basically the sea lantern texture. It's just yellow. So that's a thing. Um, my water is a little bit lighter. And then my clay, or my terracotta as it's now called, is for the most part the color you would expect it to be. So like cyan terracotta is not gray in my texture pack. Cyan terracotta is cyan. Um, and that's true for most of them. Glass is a little, uh, glass was honestly the part that made this take way, way longer than I thought it was going to. So this is my default glass block, it's kind of medieval. And then all my other glass blocks are basically just the vanilla glass blocks with the streaks removed. That's the only thing there. I've just taken out the streaks. The panes, on the other hand, are kind of that medieval texture. So it's a different block state, and that's uh, or a different model, and that's why this took forever. Um, but the, all of that matches up as well. Uh, I also have a bunch of custom paintings. This isn't all of them. Um, but this is a good number of them, so pretty much a lot of the paintings in the texture pack have been changed to, like, landscapes. There's also a couple famous paintings in here, like we got the Mona Lisa. Uh, I know Van Gogh's Starry Night is one of the big paintings that's not actually shown here. But I just think they're a lot more fitting, uh, than kind of the, the vanilla, uh, paintings in a lot of cases. I've kept a couple of the vanilla paintings that I actually like, like this one, for example. Um, I have changed the trapdoors as well. The solution I came up with for vanilla, because if we take off the texture pack, um, it used to be before this, before the 1.13 snapshots, this was the oak trapdoor texture. This, and uh, this was the only trapdoor texture. And I had changed it so that it was basically the spruce door texture. It looked very, very, very much like this one. I've changed it in the texture pack so that it's still kind of the spruce door texture. Um, but instead, it's the oak colors. And I think that works, actually, because I used it a lot in Kingdoms as like a barrel, like uh, like this, uh, in a lot of places. And that wouldn't look good at all uh, with the the default oak trap door. So I've changed it to, to match this, and I think it works really well, actually. I've also removed the handles from, like, pretty much all of the trapdoors uh, and made some minor, minor, minor uh, modifications there as well. So there's a bunch of different stuff that I've changed and tweaked. Uh, you will find a link in the description to all of the texture pack uh, or to the updated version of the texture pack. Um, I'll have to remember to fix the birch door before I, uh, uh, before I put it in the description, but... Um, that's kind of the extent of the changes. I'm going to continue making changes. One thing I will say, if you've used my texture pack before, if you watch season one, uh, and are familiar with all that stuff, there's a lot of stuff that I had changed that I have removed from the texture pack. For example, pumpkins in Minecraft used to look like this. I thought that was stupid, so I changed it to look like this instead. Well, this is now in the game, so I've removed... Uh, that particular change. So now we've, we're just back to the, the vanilla stuff there. Um, same goes for like sandstone. My, uh, my sandstone texture for um, polished sandstone used to look like this. Well, this is actually a texture that exists in the game now as a block. I don't think it's craftable yet, uh, but I'm going to be making a custom crafting recipe uh, pack, I guess you would say, a data pack that will have a bunch of custom crafting recipes in it for kingdoms. So this will be obtainable. So that texture has also been removed, and this is now what polished sandstone looks like. It's back to its default texture. So there's a few of those in there as well. Um, the custom skies that I love so much are not in the texture pack right now. Um, and I don't know if they will be. They're, they require Optifine to work, and they're built on kind of an old... They're basically the custom skies from the Halcyon Days texture pack, which is a 1.7.10. 
texture pack. So I don't know if they're going to be compatible, but uh, no matter what, they won't work until OptiFind is available anyway. So um, I will cross that bridge when I come to it. So yeah, that's the texture pack. That's kind of the rundown. And that's what has taken this episode so long to come out because I've been working on this and it took me about three days to actually get, it took me like a day and a half to even get it functioning where I could apply a resource pack at all. And that was, ugh, man, what a headache. But anyway, it's done now. Uh, there, you'll find a link in the description to the updated version. So let's go ahead and jump over to the actual kingdom's world. <laughs> and we are loading it up for the first time in the new snapshot. Uh, in snapshots at all, not counting that one little episode where we just kind of experimented a little bit. But now we are in the official world. Uh, don't worry, I do have a backup. And I have been working pretty hard in our jungle that we started last episode. You can see I've cleared a lot of space here. And now that I've cleared out a lot of the foliage, I look at this thing uh, that we built as kind of a, a, a basic idea of what our houses were going to look like. And I kind of hate it. <laughs> it looks really bad. Uh, when half of it isn't blocked from your site by foliage. So I think what I'm going to start by doing is tearing all of this down, and we'll see if we can maybe come up with a new design that'll work a little bit better. All right, guys, I am back. I've got it torn down. Sometimes you just have to kill it with fire. You know, like sometimes you look at a structure and you're like, man, that, uh, that does not look nearly as good now. And I think this was one of those situations. So I like kind of the general concept of the of that house that we built. Um, but I don't think it looked very good in execution. I think we need to uh, kind of change it up a little bit. So I think what we're going to do is we'll say like right about here in this same spot. We'll, we'll put a house here. Um, how much? Ah, I don't have quite enough. Uh, let's steal you and you. There we go. I just want to fill in this little hole here. That was a terrible placement. Try again. There we go. Okay. So what I'm thinking is we'll maybe go like here. Uh, let's actually scoot that out one. Leave a gap of one, two, three. So the interior of the house will be approximately like this big, right? Um, and we'll kind of bring it out like so, okay? So something along these lines should work. Then I think we'll go maybe up three like this. That's going to be way too big, though. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. This might work. Let's go up. Do, 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 do. Like so. Why are these? Oh, I see. I see what the issue is. Okay, so bring that back. And we'll kind of maybe... We're, we're making like a, a little bit of a kind of symmetrical shape here. So one, two, three. And like so. And then one, two, three. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. There we go. Okay. So we'll have something kind of like these, because uh, something along these lines is what I'm thinking. Uh, now, we need this to end up as like a pyramid sort of shape. So I think what we will do is kind of bring that out. We could even make this uh, a lot smaller, actually. I think this is too big. Yeah, this is going to be too big. Um, okay, let me uh, let me get a little bit of a framework done here, guys, and see what I can come up with. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back, and I think I've got something. I think we're uh, I think we're in good shape here. Let's just make a couple of jungle doors. There we go. And I think like right about here is going to be kind of our main 
entranceway. We'll throw a jungle door there for now. Um, we'll probably end up having dirt on the inside of these, is what I'm thinking. It'll be like a coarse dirt floor, because um, I think that would make the most sense. Now, uh, what I've basically done is we made like a framework and then made it kind of wrap around. And I'm kind of thinking, hmm, I don't know about that. The question is, do I want it to be very pyramid-like? And the answer might be yes. I just don't know yet. Um, let's try it and just see. If we go here... I mean, we'd have to extend a pretty significant chunk of this, but I don't know that that would necessarily be bad and we could probably do away with this top level or just bring the top level in a little bit to kind of accommodate everything hmm <laughs> let's sleep i gotta put my thinking cap on a little bit here um because if we do like a proper pyramid slash ziggurat slash whatever you want to call it um, I mean, there, there, you, could, you could call this a, a lot of different things, but what I'm kind of envisioning is like smaller pyramids um, with, you know, for all like the houses, they'd be kind of like these, these like little smaller things, right? Uh, and then essentially we'd have like a couple much, much larger sort of ziggurats that would really kind of tower over everything else. That's kind of what I'm like envisioning for this area. So we could maybe do something like this and then maybe like right here, since this is our entrance way, we would do some sort of stone. Uh, maybe, we, do I have some more cobblestone? I don't have a lot. I didn't really bring much cobblestone with me, did I? Nope, of course not. That's all right. We'll just uh, we'll just make some. And yes, I know I'm in a building right now that's completely surrounded by cobblestone. I'm fully aware. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not that stupid. Uh, anyway, let's go here. And then I think what we would want to do is something like that. And this would basically be our entrance. Right? So this is kind of the entrance to the pyramid. And then we put this here. We would fill these bits in. And then this needs a lot more detail. This, like, this is okay. This doesn't look horrible. This, on the other hand, does not look so good. So what we can probably do is kind of use sort of the same concept, right? So we would go, I need, I need more cobble. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just go, let's just make like a fair amount of cobble here real quick. We'll just go, we'll use the, the concrete trick. <laughs> Hold both. There we go. That hopefully will be enough. I don't need like tons and tons of it. I just need enough to make a few stairs and all this other kind of stuff. Uh, while I'm doing this, though, we should probably talk about data packs, uh, because I do plan on making a data pack for kingdoms, which will have a bunch of custom recipes in it. Um, some of them so you can obtain blocks that you wouldn't normally be able to get, like, for example, the, um, uh, what is it, the, uh, the cut sandstone or the polished sand, you know, those smooth sandstone blocks that I was showing off earlier. I'm going to make a custom recipe for those, for sure. Like, I I've already decided that is absolutely going to happen um but then i think i may also do like uh custom recipes for like stairs for example because stairs are like the, the math is, is very strange i don't know how they ended up uh coming to the numbers that they came to for stairs but they did somehow somehow six blocks gets you four stairs i really think six blocks should get you six stairs or maybe even eight stairs but uh, at least six. So I'm probably going to change that so we'll get uh, six stairs for uh, for all of those. Um, some other minor things. Maybe I'll modify. I think I'm going to modify hay a little bit so that uh, you can actually realistically use 
hay bales as a building material, because right now nine hay is one block, and that makes it very difficult to justify using it uh, for building when you're when you're talking a return rate that bad. Like that's the, the amount. I remember we did um, I did a kingdom uh, back in Kingdom Craft, way way back in the series that kind of was uh, one of the inspirations for kingdoms. Uh, it was a series called Kingdom Craft, and uh, it was where I met uh, Iskal and Rendog and a lot of other people who are now hermits and uh, all that other kind of stuff. And and basically, it was this is Kingdom Craft is what kingdoms. They're very similar. The only difference is that Kingdom Craft was a multiplayer server. That's really the biggest difference. Um, but other than that, they could basically be the same series. It was all about kind of building up the uh, the world and, and, you know, lore and all this other kind of stuff. And um, what I didn't really... Uh, we did a, a like a... Like a Rohirrim type kingdom, right? Like, like think Lord of the Rings, right? We did kind of like a, a Rohan... Uh, inspired kingdom and um, basically we ended up using hay bales for the roofs and I uh, the amount of grind required just to get enough hay bales to make a roof like on a single relatively small building was just insanity it was so grindy uh, like we w we had giant fields of wheat, uh, and we would spend hours just trying to get enough hay to do like one building. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty ridiculous. So I'm thinking I will probably make a data pack for that as well. Um, I, I think that makes sense. Um, let's let's try something here. Maybe we'll go like so. Turn these into stairs. I'm thinking this could work as kind of a pretty cool little design, right? If we did something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's starting to feel very, uh, very kind of Mesoamerican, which is what I'm going for for sure. I will need a lot more stone stairs. Let me get this, uh, let me get this all crafted up the way that I want to have it. Let me see if we can get this all done, uh, and I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, I'm back, and I think I've got it done. I like it. Uh, it turned out fairly well, so this is what I've got. Um, we, I made it more, uh, pyramid-y, so a lot more stairs, and then I decided to kind of bring it up to this height and put jungle wood uh, as kind of the stairs leading up and then a little roof area on top here. So let's kind of swing back over here. There we go. So you can kind of see we've got like this gradual, very sort of rounded uh, hip roof type thing going on here. Uh, just a very, very gradual slope. And, you know, this, this would be thatch probably if there was uh, thatch in Minecraft. All we have is hay blocks though, and I need slabs and I, I, this is basically all slabs. So that's not really a, a viable option uh, for a thatch roof in this case. Um, but we added the jungle wood because it really kind of breaks up the stone. I think that was necessary. There was just too much gray. Uh, everything was very, very gray and very, very stony and I, I wasn't really super happy with it. Uh, as for the interior, it looks like this, you know, nothing fancy, small living space for the most part, but this would be kind of like your average person's home. Um, and I don't think they would have a ton of places to live. What I do want to do in here is I would really like to replace the floor here with some coarse dirt. Yeah, we'll just leave, uh, we'll leave this part as it is for the moment, because eventually we'll do roads and pathways and stuff, and then I'll have to come up with something else. But I think what I'll do is we'll just grab some coarse dirt for the floors. Let's just throw a torch here and here temporarily. So you walk in, and that's kind of what you've got there. Now we need to kind of mix that up a little bit. So what we could probably do is jungle wood and coarse dirt mixed together like amazingly well like there it's a match made in heaven which is why uh, i've had some people say hey you should uh, you should make the jungle wood green 
like uh, B-Dubs did in his texture pack. Now, this is this is why I won't do that right here. Jungle wood and coarse dirt is a mixture that I use all the time. And if I make it green, nope, not going to be able to do that anymore. Uh, let's also grab some regular dirt as well. And we'll just kind of go maybe here, here. Uh, but these are going to be... No, 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 this'll, this, all this should have turned to, to dirt by now. All the stuff under the walls. And we'll just mix in a little bit of regular dirt. And it gives you just the slightest variation in texture. Like so. So you get this really kind of dirty floor. Which I think is exactly what I want. I'm not really a huge fan of how it blends with the jungle wood here. Hmm. But this needs to stay as jungle wood. Because this is a slab that goes up. So, like, we could get rid of this. But that's about it. Because if I break this, it goes to the outside. I would almost like to do, like, stone walls on the inside like this. But then we've got this weird texture, which looks really bad. So I don't want to do that. Hmm. I'll have to think about that a little bit, I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to put some thought into that. For now, I'll just put it back the way it was. And this is kind of what we're going to be looking at for, uh, for a, a basic house design and a general style. Now, we'll find ways to kind of connect multiples of these. Uh, you know, have like two or three of these all kind of conjoined. Some will have towers of some sort, some won't. Like, it's going to be... We're going to do a variety of different things and variations on this theme. But I think that's kind of the basic theme we'll be going with. Uh, the other thing I want to do... This is something that I believe is now possible since we're in the snapshots, and I don't think it was possible before. Let's sleep real quick. Come on. There we go. Um, and let's actually make a bunch more of these guys. There we go. And 12. That should be good. So I think if I remember reading, if I if I read this correctly. It should be possible now. Oh, it's the most beautiful thing to ever be in the game of Minecraft. This is amazing. Um, except those don't connect. Probably because I need... Get this out of the way. But we can go like that. Look at this. It is beautiful, except these... Oh, you know what? I think it's like you shift-click. Like if you're shift... Yeah, I see. Okay, so if you shift-click, they connect. Or if they don't connect, if you don't shift-click, they do. But the idea here is that we can move out of our, um... Out of our little, uh, jungle temple that we've been living in. Which isn't exactly the most ideal, uh, location in the world to live, you know? I mean, I suppose it could be worse. There is a roof over my head and everything. But the idea is uh, we want to move into over here instead. And let's see if we can do this. We'll go like so and like so. Uh, okay, so you got to plan it in such a way that this one goes down first. Yeah, I see. Okay. Man, that's going to take some getting used to. Um, but it will work, and this will give us tons of storage and all this other kind of stuff uh, for all of our various resources and things, which is great. Um, as for the crafting things, like the crafting bench and the ender chest and all that kind of stuff, uh, we could probably put the crafting bench in the floor. Like, uh, right there, temporarily. <laughs> That'll do. And then the ender chest? Um, hmm. That one, I don't know. Let's just put it... Uh, let's scoot the bed over one. Let's put the bed here and the ender chest here. That'll work. We'll do that for now. That'll be fine. Uh, okay, cool. So, I think uh, that's about all I want to do in today's episode. But we do have a comment of the day to check first. Here it is. 
And today's comment is from Koala Master 5 who says, Debug stick doesn't work in survival. Last episode, we were talking a little bit about potentially making a crafting recipe or some sort of a way to obtain the debug stick, which is basically like a wrench from modded Minecraft. It'll let you uh, rotate blocks and switch between block states, which is really super useful. Um, and you know what? I didn't even think about it. It doesn't work unless you're in a uh, creative mode. So it looks like that's not going to be an option because this is ultimately a survival series. Um, so yeah, no, uh, no debug stick for this guy, but that's okay. It's fine. And I think what we're actually going to do. Bam! That'll be for our comments of the day while we're working over here. So bed, ender chest, comments of the day, various materials. Sweet. So that should be good. But we have a good start here. This is looking lovely. And we got, uh, we went over all the texture pack changes and stuff today that I've been working on for like the last three days. So it's all good. Guys, I think I'm going to call the episode here. My friends, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.